Hi, my Pringle. It's Pearly. You know what that means. I'm doing rogue tier list today. Mm. Pringle. What do I think is going to be crazy cool with the rogue tier list after uh, recent events? Rest in peace to Soul Day. You will not be missed. Fuck you. First up, Drytron. Absolutely going into the almost meta tier. Why? Because if Droll and Lockboard didn't exist, Drytron would be the best deck in the game by a country mile. The deck is unbeatable if it's not interrupted by Droll or enough hand traps to stop it. However, it is also a ritual deck. So shutting down ways to remove ability to add cards to your opponent's hand is the way to beat this deck, but still insanely good being able to just do a negate engine, doing turn skip things, doing just every form of shenanigan you want to find. It's great. Gold Pride and Punk. Almost met. I think Gold Pride Punk fits under the same belt of this deck is great as long as you're not in time and Droll is not a problem to you. The deck does die to like certain hand trap interactions, but if you're left unattended or just set up far enough before your opponent actually interacts with you, the deck is insane. You can easily end on a second in Punisher Towers and then do the Gold Pride stuff and have a pop slash negates. You can also just swipe up your opponent's cards with the gold pride fusion. Pretty insane. Rika Sun Avalon. Let's talk about this deck since the ban was hit this deck specifically. It is still true rogue. I think this deck is crazy good if you know how to play it. If you don't know how to play it, I don't think you should play this deck. It's not a pick up and play type of deck. It's definitely a sit down and mathematically equate how you interact with every deck in the game. Like other decks on this list. We'll get to them. Do I think Rika still has a shot to do a lot of stuff when the new Aroma cards come out? Absolutely. I think that's why they hit it like this. Let's see what it does when it gets there. Alter Geist, our second favorite trap deck. They're a local legend. I think Alter Geist is great. I don't think it's good enough. I think the interaction it causes is interesting, but two other decks does what it does objectively better, being Trap Tricks and Labyrinth. And if you're gonna play Alter Geist, you might as well just play Labyrinth. Uh, that being said, just having a Snatch Steel monster is pretty funny. Blackwing. That's, it's another Synchro pile that just spins its wheels to end on three Masquerades to burn you. Okay. Or if it's crazy enough it could end on five negates it also dies into Vero before it even starts to attempt that so marine cess is fine marine cess fits in that same boat where if its engine can, can play it will play if not it falls apart very rapidly but marine cess does have the benefit of being a cyber stack meaning you can just go into cyber monsters dinos i don't think the xeno cards actually like did anything for this deck transcendosaurus was cool i don't think it did enough to boost this deck out of where it was. If we can't fix what the deck really needs, which is more copies of Miscellaneousaurus, because then the deck becomes so overpowered, it becomes a tier zero format of just dinos. Do I think that's cool? Absolutely. I don't want it though. Tri Brigade. Aurora, I'm so sorry. Tri Brigades is interesting, but I don't think the deck is good enough to be entertaining. I think at this point, the deck is just a problem for itself that doesn't know what it's doing. If you're going to play Tri Brigade, you might as well play like any other link based deck that's absolutely better than what Tri could ever hope to achieve. That being said, it mixes very well with Fire Kings, so I would recommend trying that out. Salad. Salad's fine. I think. The issue is that like every meta deck can play Nib with no worries at all for its boards. If you're Nibbing a Salomon Great deck though, there is no way to recover. Your turn ends. You are done. Don't even bother continuing. That being said though, Rage and Roar are very insane. Makanko, Isoldi was just killed off and I don't think it's going to stick around for a while. I do think this deck is still crazy enough to keep playing, but I don't think its consistency is going to be comfortable anymore. Dynamorphia. You know, I just said Altergeist is like the third best trap deck. Dynamorphia is a tier below Altergeist. And right below Dynamorphia, Eldlich. Eldlich, at this point, is super cool because it does nothing. You've lost your win condition of setting up three floodgates. So now your real end goal for this deck has been removed. A lot of decks can play under skill drain. They can easily beat over Eldlich. You've really lost your, like main way to play the game hero uh hero don't play hero the deck consistently relies on three different floodgates to keep itself alive and if you're able to consistently beat those three floodgates the deck dies off people are already playing kaijus in the side just for pearly still plasma is a great kaiju target do not 
attempt it. Dark World is crazy. I it's another deck where Droll and Lockbird is your only real way to counter this deck because it only plays gas. It does not play any side engine. It doesn't play any hand traps or anything. It is all gas all the way. Your only real way to beat this deck outside of Droll exactly is to have a board wipe so powerful enough to get rid of every monster that your opponent cannot play regardless. So dark, uh, dark really no more, exactly. Super heavy, I like super heavy. I think the concept of a deck now that the link one is removed is interesting. I don't think it's gonna do much without a soul day though, because that's how you searched a good majority of your lines. Sword soul. Sword soul is gonna be the deck where it's always gonna be right on the verge of meta, no matter what. Even if it's falling out of favor, people will still play sword soul because it's that good of a deck and fun. Sword soul is an objectively fun deck. You should definitely try it. Runic. I'm gonna put the best options for runic in this spot. Bestial runic and for uh, for higher runic. Absolutely almost meta. I think these decks are insane. Even Runic Stun could definitely be up here with this spot. If you think Runic would not be in this slot as Rogue, it was not hit on the most recent ban list because nobody plays Runic anymore besides exactly Joshua Schmidt and myself. Exosister, we have a pet deck. At this point, if you're playing Exosister, you're really trying to cope on your big Xyz monsters being the reason you're beating people. If those are removed from your system, however, you instantly dry up like a coke addict who has been off of the drug for about 15 weeks. I wouldn't know. I haven't done meth in a while. Sky Striker, please stop playing Sky Striker. I get it keeps getting support, but it's just solid, but like slightly better. It still dies if an opponent gets rid of your cards in the wrong way you don't want them to. Oh no, you flipped anti-spell against me. How will I actually react now? Your worst runic. Get over yourself. Luanderees. At this point, Flu has lost all of its special momentum it's ever had. True, being able to normal summon during your opponent's turn is a very exciting thing to achieve, but your opponent can also now play it during your turn as well. And theirs don't even need setup. And finally, Virtual World. Local Legend. Virtual World is an interesting deck because it absolutely can do stuff. It is insanely good at doing level threes and level sixes. However, the issue with Virtual World at this point is not the engine itself, it is the issue of the deck is not consistent. If Virtual World actually got a main deck card that fixes consistency in a meaningful way, this deck would be crazy again. Until then, I don't recommend playing this. And that's the list. Whoa, it's a lot of cards. How do I end this? Um, insults. Can't insult Sun Avalon players because they're all trans. I can't insult Blackwing players because they're all gay. Can't insult Tri Brigade because they're all Femboys. It's like Fluanderese always said, normal summon Impin.